Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Lana Tips. In our previous video, we were able to click on this delete button and whenever we click on this delete, the category would be deleted. And now in today's video, we'll be making a pagination over here. We'll be showing this previous and next buttons over here. And whenever we click on those buttons, we will be showing the list of the categories in another page. So for that, let us go to this categories index view and let us do that first of all here and let us create a component afterwards. So let us do that over here. And here there will be two buttons, previous and next. And we'll also get those buttons from the jet stream. So if we see here, so we have this jet stream button component. So we'll use that. So first of all, let us import that. And let me define that here in the components as well. And now we can use that over here. So we can say jet dash button and we can say here previous and we can say here next and we want to show them one on the left and one on the right side. So let us give some classes. We'll say flex items center justify between. Now let us uh, see how does it look like. So you can see here it is looking like this previous and next it is showing like this. And now if I show you in this view dev tools inside this index component. So we can see here inside the links we are getting this next and this first over here. So we'll be using this next and previous links. So let's say here href equals to categories dot links dot prev and similarly on this next we will do here next and also when there is no URL in the previous link we want to disable this button. So you can see here in the previous there is null which means that there is no any page before this so we want to disable this. So let's say disabled if there is no previous and also we want to give some opacity to it opacity 25 let's say and if there is no previous let me format it and now let me use this for this next as well and instead of prev we will say next now if i go here in the browser and refresh the page you can see here this previous is disabled so it is a little bit more disabled so let us give this opacity to be 50 Yes, it is looking good now and whenever we click on this next you can see here it is doing nothing so it is not taking us to any other page so let us do that so we are using this uh, jet stream button so let's look inside it so you can see here there is no any props name href yeah so let us do that since it is a button there will not be any href so let us define that and use it and now whenever we click on this button we want to visit a page so let us define this method over here and let me also format it now inside this method so if this href is defined then only we want to send this user to that page with this url but if it is not defined then we don't want to do anything we just want to act it as a normal button so let's say if not this dot href we just want to return it so we don't want to do anything and if there is a url so let us write here event and we want to prevent the default event and we want to send the user to this page for that we have an option in the inertia so this dot inertia dot visit this dot url so we have to pass any URL over here and it will take us to that page and there will not be any page refresh. Now let me refresh the page over here. So you can see here we are getting this AUTEM in the beginning and QO in the end. And now if I click on, so let me also open this network tab and clear all these. And if I click on the next, so we are getting an error over here. So it is saying that it cannot read the property to a string of undefined. So let's see what the error is over here. So here, okay, we have passed here this dot URL. So this should be href. And now let me go to the browser and also let me go to this network tab 
and let me select this xhr which is the ajax request one and now let us click on the next okay now you can see here this request is sent with the page of two and we are seeing this all the items which is in the page two and you can see here now this next is disabled now if you go here in the view dev tools and let us see this index here and in the links we can see here we are getting the next is null now and in the priv property we are seeing this url which is page one and let whenever we click on this previous now it will take us to this previous page in the page one now let us create a component for this pagination so these are the data over here now let us create a component over here inside this components let's say simple pagination dot view let us define the view component and let me just copy whatever that's inside over here and let me paste it over here so in the props we want this previous url and this next url so let us define that over here and we don't want any other thing below this so let us remove this and instead of this so let us say prev url and instead of this let us say next url now let us use this simple pagination component over here so let's say simple pagination like this and let us also import it here and let us also add it over here now let us define the previous url and next url so let's say prev url like this and next url like this so prev url will be this and the next url will be this now let me remove this and format it now if i go here in the browser and refresh the page so you can see here now i have lost the design it's because we haven't imported this component z button component over here so let us just remove it from here and let us use it over here and let us also remove it and let us add it over here now let me go to the browser and refresh the page so you can see here i'm getting this previous and next now and if i click on this next you can see here i can go to the next page and if i click on the previous i can go to this previous page also whenever we click on this next so it is taking some time to visit this page which means that there it will take some time for data to be fetched from server and being rendered over here so for that time we want to show the loading indicator here and we'll be showing the loading effect like the facebook and we'll be doing that in our next video so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching have a great day bye